To claim her treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon, taunt him. about it many times and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. It is better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. Amazing! Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. <laughs> Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. treasure in the forbidden tomb. Ugh. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Kingsguard will never expect Croc to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Damaged. 
She'll have to squeeze through. She's so close, she can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely. The coordinate, the head of King David. From a shepherd to a king, imagine that. The cup of St. John, the apostle had given a chalice of poisoned wine but after his blessing the poison transformed into a snake and he drank the wine unharmed this is an old game two shields and a white crown could that be the white queen the coordinates might have something to do with the globe a byzantine scroll justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due this is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. Unlock her love's release. It worked. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, 
ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. The poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the king said, this is the first trouble she has given me. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. <clears throat> Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. A Yatiri, a South American healer. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. Animal skulls, an omen of death, and symbols of great change. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? This is from Colombia, a Xeno chieftain mask. I wonder if these are, I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. This is the kind of armor that the conquistadors wore during the age of discovery. I wonder what they found. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. 25th dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Hmm, a Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. The great bat swing is unfurled.
with light, unlock her love's release. Our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the... 